Hello, this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing another contest entry, and this one's going to be for Francis McMiniman's um, 150 um, subscriber contest. So yeah, first off, congratulations for having reached 150 subscribers, and yeah. So give me a sec. So basically, he asked two questions. Um, basically, what is our favorite war? Or, or military films, or some of our favorite war or military films, as well as what are some what are some of our favorite war or military comic books? Um. So yeah, or action figures or whatever. So I'm gonna start off with the action figures. Well, not really action figures, but they're more they're more like toys. Got this military toy car, a tank, which is pretty cool. Um, an SU I want an SUV of sorts. Or a Jeep. Then another type of SUV. This part kind of came off. Um. So yeah, but still saved it. So yeah. Let me put that back. Uh, try to. Kind of hate it, but whatever. Okay, there. So I'm gonna kind of just leave it like that. Not like, uh, like that. Lower the camera a bit. Back it away a bit. So yeah, um, action figures gonna be surrounding it for this video, or the cars. So basically, let me start off with the movies. Um, one of the movies that I don't have that I actually do like was Saving Pri Private Ryan. I really like that movie. Um, and Lone Survivor. They were both um some pretty two good war films. Um, I do. Um, I but from the films I do have, I have World War Z. Um, I mean, it has the word war in the title, so maybe, I guess, kind of cop out, but, yeah, it's, I mean, it's Brad Pitt versus Zombies, pretty cool. It's technically a war of sorts, so yeah, World, World War Z. Um, I also like Olympus Has Fallen. It's not exactly a war film, but it's almost like a Cold War, in a sense. It's kind of cold, a Cold War film, so yeah, it's like before war. And then I also like um, the Harry Potter Deathly Hollows. Um, I like part one and two. I only have part one in this case, but I, I enjoy part two more. And it's basically a magic war, you know, war with magic. So, you know, these aren't your typical war films, but, you know, they're still kind of war. These are more fantasy war films. Well, this one, this one's something that could happen more realistically, but, you know, World War Z and Harry Potter, they're more um fantasy war films but you know you get the point they're still in a sense war films so yeah so that's gonna be it for the movies okay on top and yeah now he did ask for some comic books I'm gonna start off with um The Walking Dead um it's not exactly a war comic book but they did have the all out war story arc um this is volume 20 I don't have volume 21 yet I kinda wanna get it still so yeah, and to go out and end with the All Out War story arc, I do have issue 115, which is where it all began, or you know where the All Out story arc basically blew over. Um, and to continue with the Walking Dead, um, I also do have the first compendium. Um, basically, the reason is that the the ending um, is basically the governor versus Rick and the survivors in the prison. And if you saw the TV show, that was basically a a battle in it of its own. So here is a bit more grander scale. I mean, technically it's just one story arc that's more of a war, but still. Now, for comic books that are just like strictly war, um, I have Zombie War, which again is um, a group of survivors going against zombies. It's made by the same people who did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Eastman. So yeah. And one more fantasy book would be um, The Trinity War. This is issue two. From you know Trinity Sin Pandora, it's Trinity War. So yeah, now to get to some like real stuff, um, I have the Big Lie, which is the stuff right before Afghanistan. It's kind of, it's like a historical fiction in a sense, um, because it talks about 9/11, so it's kind of before the war. Um, so yeah, I also have GI Joe number 22, a real American, I guess. 
Um, I read it. That was pretty cool. Like the artwork. Um, and I also have um, our army at war featuring Sergeant Rock. Um, I read it. Enjoyed it a bit. Um, that was kind of weird that there was a swastika cut here. Um, for a second I thought this guy was the um, the main character, but you know it turned out to be this guy. So yeah. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun. It's, it's set in like it's set in World War Two. So yeah. And then technically, um, again, not a war, but in a sense it is Civil War. The Black Panther, um, picked it up after the announcement of the Black Panther movie. I got it, picked it up. I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, so that's gonna be it for my comics, um, based on war. Let me put that one here as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for my comics based on war, Co um, action figures based on war, and movies based on war um, and so yeah and he said that um, if you show you uh, your best war face or you know best face you'd show in war um, you could possibly get a comic if you win or an extra comic so let me just turn the camera around I'm not gonna scream because half my family is sleeping but I am gonna show my face still so yeah let me just throw it. so be something like like that, you know, something like that, you know, probably was like a, or probably like this, like with a machine gun or something, like, ah, 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 ah you know, but honestly, if I was in war, I'd probably be sniping people left and right, um, yeah, you know, just going, pew, 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 yeah, I, that's, that's basically my battle plan, get a sniper, get to the highest point, and just start sniping people left and right, so yeah, pew, 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 but honestly, you know, like, if you go all 300 or something, Ah, no, so yeah, so yeah, Francis McMiniman, um, congratulations again on having reached, um, 150 subscribers, very well deserved, hopefully you enjoyed my video, and if you're not subscribed to Francis McMiniman, um, don't know why, link down below for his channel, as well as the video in which he discusses his, his contest, and yeah, that's basically it for now, subscribe not only to me, but again, Francis McMiniman, he does comic book hauls, for the most part, I do, Movie reviews, TV show reviews, comic book reviews, comic book hauls, movie hauls, poster hauls, movie theories, among amongst other things. So yeah, subscribe, comment down below on your thoughts on his channel, as well as all my picks for my war stuff. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it, it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.